Hello there. Before the video starts, make sure to like the video and subscribe. Maul's hand would reach out for Ahsoka and he would he would be very persistent on Ahsoka joining him. Ahsoka would truly think about how flawed the Jedi are and what Maul has said. She would walk towards him and she would take his hand and Maul would be very pleased and Ahsoka would tell Maul that she is only doing this to help Anakin. Maul would understand this and he would continue to walk out of the room. I would see that Maul would slowly start to treat her like an apprentice more than an acquaintance, which Ahsoka would, Ahsoka, which was Ahsoka's thought on their relationship. Maul would know that they need to take out cities on by surprise, especially since that Dooku would be recently dead and the Sith Lord wouldn't have a choice but to face Maul and Ahsoka. On their way to Coruscant, Maul would teach everything he could to Ahsoka in the little time that they had before landing on the planet. Ahsoka would grow a tiny little bit in her power and knowledge compared to what she would have done if they stayed on Mandalore and prepared. Once at the heart of the Republic, Maul would sense that the future of the Republic and the Jedi were about to change, so he and Ahsoka would run as fast as they could to the Chancellor's office. Once there, Ahsoka would hold both of her lightsaber hilts while Maul entered the, entered the room calmly. Palpatine would know why they are there, but Ahsoka would be confused as to why they are at the Chancellor's office considering how much of a friend he is to Anakin. Palpatine would greet them both, but not as the Chancellor, but as the Sith Lord Darth Sidious, and Ahsoka would instantly realise once Maul and Sidious started the conversation. Sidious would point out, that so point out that Ahsoka was there, and that he told her that he could not leave because she knew too much. The Sith Lord would take out his two blades and Ahsoka would do the same. Maul would enter his stance and turn his blades on and the two of them would attack the Sith Lord. Sidious wouldn't take them too seriously and would toy with them quite a bit but after some time he would begin to see parts of Anakin that Ahsoka would show. He would be very impressed with her skills and would take her more seriously than he would do with Maul. Maul and Ahsoka would continue to press their attack against Sidious and would take them more ser and Sidious would take them more seriously and it made him focus in on the dark side of the force a lot more. Maul would realise this and would warn Ahsoka while Sidious would continue to fight with unrelenting force and would disarm Ahsoka of both of her blades. Sidious would then use the force to push her against the wall and this would knock her out. Maul would focus on everything that he had to use against his former master. After Ahsoka would wake up, Maul would struggle greatly and they would lock blade with Sidious. He would pass the other end of his lightsaber hilt to Ahsoka so that she could join in on the fight. This wouldn't last too long as the Sith would disarm them both and use the force to push them back into the main room. As he walks towards them both, Maul would shout to Ahsoka ordering her to retreat and they both would. Palpatine would contact the guards in the building and tell them that two force users tried to kill him. They would both be hunted down throughout the building until they found their ship and escaped the planet. The story could go anywhere from this point, so here's what I think would happen. Maul would be furious that they couldn't beat Sidious and Ahsoka would admit that they should tell the council, but Maul would once again refuse. He would instead tell Ahsoka that they need to build their criminal empire during, his, during this time and make sure that Ahsoka could grow within the dark side of the force. Throughout this time, Maul and Ahsoka would in fact grow within the dark side and Maul would send Ahsoka on missions to find ancient artifacts to learn more about the Sith and the power they possess. After about five years after Order 66, Maul and Ahsoka would hatch a plan to try and get Vader away from Sidious so Maul could go in and stall the Sith until Ahsoka arrived. This plan started with a few explosions on Coruscant and Ahsoka getting the attention of not just the troopers but also Vader. The Sith would begin to hunt down Ahsoka and once being tricked into a dead end, Ahsoka would use the force to send tons of objects into Vader. Maul would begin to talk to Sidious until Ahsoka caught up and met him in the former Jedi Council chambers. They would begin to ignite both of their lightsabers and attack the Emperor and the fight would be more intense than their first encounter and Sidious wouldn't toy with them one bit since, they know, since he would know how much power they have gained since their last encounter. 
This fight would continue until they got to the front of the Jedi Temple where Maul and Ahsoka would begin to get tired. They make sure each other are ready to attack the Sith Lord until they hear loud, heavy mechanical breathing. Darth Vader would walk towards the entrance while carrying his damaged mechanical suit around his body. Vader would be filled with rage and not give them a single chance to attack. The fight between the four of them would be intense but they would stand no chance for Darth Sidious and Darth Vader. The Sith Lord would kill Maul slowly as Vader approaches Ahsoka. Ahsoka would recognise the half face and voice of Vader but had no time to comment until this point. She would say stuff along the lines of I'm sorry for everything while Vader did not care. He would lift his blade up high and give one final look at Ahsoka as his eyes for a second turned back to their original colour until he looked back at Palpatine and his Sith then his eyes turned back to a Sith yellow and he killed Ahsoka in the same point in the same spot where Ahsoka left the Jedi Order and Anakin. Thank you all for watching the video, I hope you all enjoyed it and I would like to say thank you all for the continued support over the channel. Um, I will within a few weeks be taking a break from the Battlefront 2 video since I'm slowly losing interest in the game. But there will be, if there are any other games that you want me to, that you want to see on the channel, for example Minecraft, then I'll definitely do it so just comment down below on the topic of minecraft for the next four to five weeks i'm going to post a minecraft star wars video so make sure to stay tuned for that now with all that out of the way thank you again for watching have a great day and may the force be with you